If you like this video, please rate, comment, share and subscribe. And if you dislike it, please tell me why so I can improve. I wanted to talk today about a surprising side effect of the hormones and other things I've been doing, which I've not mentioned before, which is weight loss. Now, I'm not going to splice videos in because it will make the videos rubbish. So just look back and see how I looked in March this year and um, then compare it to how I look now. Yeah, I reckon I'm a lot thinner. I reckon that that paunch is now completely gone, more or less. Um, and yes, generally, that I've lost one hell of a lot of weight. Now, at the end of March, I weighed. At the end of March, I weighed uh, 13 stone five pounds, which is 85 kilos, which in pounds is 180. Hold on, 182. No, 187 pounds. Um, I'm aiming at 70 kilos. Um, I noticed that I was losing weight after a couple of months. Um, from sort of May onwards, um, I weighed myself and I found that I was actually losing weight and I thought I would go with that. Um, I really thought that what was going to happen was I was going to pile on the pounds because uh, estrogen obviously encourages the deposition of fat, but it didn't do that. And I was really surprised by that. So um, one thing that came up recently actually was that Research shows, apparently, that the reason for the paunch in men is actually lack of oestrogen, as in their oestrogen production declines, or our oestrogen production, I don't know what to refer to that person as, um, that group as, um, during middle ages, during middle age, during middle age, with the result that they actually put on weight around the middle. And that weight, I want you to compare to other videos, because as I say, I'm not going to splice that in has actually gone down quite a lot. It would be sort of around here, and it's not. It's actually gone, basically. And so that's really interesting, because I didn't, that didn't actually come up in research until last, you know, sort of couple of weeks. It's something that I read in the newspaper last week sometime. And so that was rather surprising. Now, I've got a pair of scales, which measures my, um, basically analyzes my body fat and muscle and so forth. And I was rather surprised to discover that that actually is quite accurate. I thought it was going to be just a, a messy sort of gimmicky thing, but actually it's supposed to be quite good. And um, what it showed is that primarily there was a big loss of muscle bulk. Now, uh, a couple of months ago, I was going on about the fact that I thought I was gaining fat and losing muscle. I'm actually quite happy to have lost muscle bulk. It is actually a lot, um, uh, it actually does show, not in stamina, because obviously losing weight means I can walk further and that kind of thing. And that is one thing I'm doing also to help lose weight, is to walk a lot further. And But what it does do is um, it makes things seem heavier and difficult to move around and so forth, and I end up losing muscle bulk, which wouldn't really, under normal circumstances, be considered particularly healthy. But I'm actually quite happy with that, to be honest, because, you know, it sort of goes, like I say, it goes with the territory, like those do. Um, so basically what I did was I decided to go with that, uh, and losing the weight, and I thought, yeah, I'm losing weight, brilliant. Um, so what I did was I decided to walk a lot more. I walked to see patients. I walked to Syston, which is about 10 kilometers away every Wednesday. Um, I skipped meals. Uh, now you may see that this is now adding up to something that doesn't sound particularly healthy, particularly on the adrenals. Um, and I would openly admit that that's the case, but we'll talk about that in a second. In the meantime, yes, um, another thing that I'm doing is because I'm no longer depressed, I'm no longer comfort eating. And that really does make quite a big difference. The um, thing about comfort eating means that I'm not sort of eating between meals and thinking, oh my God, I'm still a bloke sort of thing, and, and doing that, which is, I think, what I was doing before. And now the depression is gone in any case, and that's endogenous depression as well as any reactive element to it. Um, I no longer have that problem, which is brilliant. Um, but it has to be said, I'm afraid, that there is an element of an eating disorder to this. Because the situation is that obviously some people, or one person in particular, doesn't want me to have breasts. And I think I'm gonna have to, obviously that's not entirely successful, as you can see, but I am trying to accommodate her views. And what I'm doing to accommodate those views is not eating as much in the hope, probably fairly vain hope, that there isn't going to be much happening here. Um, now, the fact is that that hasn't entirely worked. 
And another fact is, and so it is sort of there's an element of eating disorder there. It's like values are not supposed to be there, so I have to do something to escape this from happening. It's not proven to be that successful, although in another way, of course, it's proven to be very successful because doing this all herbally, I really didn't expect this kind of thing to happen. Um, so there's the element of not somebody not wanting you to have a particular element of your body which you actually do want to have and so you sort of try to sort of ease it out and the only thing you've got the control over really is the eating. Although obviously I've got control over herbs but I'm not going to give those up because they're really making me feel fantastic or at least fine and normal and not the old me. Um, I suppose I wanted to say one other thing which is that it's not just a surface thing, it's actually changed my whole outlook, it's changed everything. And I'm actually thinking that this person here is not the same person in a very true sense than the person who was sitting in this room talking to you a few months ago. And that's in a very positive way. So that's all I've got to say for you right now. Um, I've got a few issues going on, obviously, um, but I'm generally being very positive about the whole thing. And um, yeah, hopefully I'll see you next time I make a video, which to be honest may not be tomorrow, but you never know. Bye.